Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hello boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Bond of School Academy. This is week number 13 and day number four, part of fifth grade mathematics. All right, uh, so today we're gonna be talking about bot mass a little bit. We started talking about bot mass in uh, yesterday's lesson. Today we're gonna be doing bot mass again. Well, bot mass right now with a practical application of it. How do we apply the concept of using bot, bot mass to solve real life problems. All right, so let's say that we got 36 pounds, all right, multiplied by 15 ounces plus 17 ounces and then minus two ounces. Well, we're going to ask ourselves, is there any brackets? Are there any brackets in this problem? And the answer is yes. There's 15 ounces and 17 ounces. And luckily for us, both numbers have the same units. So we can just go ahead and add them like that. But if both numbers do not have the same units, you want to make sure you convert them to the same units. In other words, if this one was like in 15 pounds plus 17 ounces, you want to make sure that those numbers have the same units before you perform mathematical operations on both numbers. But that's not the case over there. Both numbers have the same units. There's 15 ounces here, there's 17 ounces over there. So we can perform the operations in the brackets just to start right now. So what is 15 plus 17? Well, that's gonna be 32 ounces, okay? Don't forget your units. And then multiply by 36 pounds. And then minus two, Ounces. Now we got a problem here because this one is expressed in pounds, this one is expressed in ounces. Well, we got to convert that over to ounces before we can do this multiplication exercise. So you're going to be asking yourself, how many ounces are in one pound? So one pound is going to be equivalent to 16 ounces. So 36 pounds will be equivalent to 16 multiplied by 36, all right? So let's get our calculator just to go ahead and do that. Uh, right like that without wasting too much time on it. So what is 16 multiplied by 36? Well, that's gonna be 576. Now in ounces, then you can do multiply by 32 ounces minus two ounces. So you're going to try to do this one first because that's a multiplication exercise before you do your subtraction exercise. So multiplication is going to take precedence over <laughs> your subtraction operation. All right. So what is 576 multiplied by 32? All right. Let's do that. So that's going to be 18432 minus 2. Houses. And then this, of course, there's houses over there. Minus two, that gives us 18,430 houses. All right. So that's how to do it. So you see, board mass can be applied to solving real life problems and real life situations. All right. Did you get something from it? I sure hope so. Let's go ahead and turn to page number 113 of your workbook. You're going to see additional things over there to retain this content a little bit better. Well, thank you, boys and girls, for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be 
your hero's body And as you study with heroes born